everybody what is up welcome into my channel today we are doing something quite different today as you can see i have something different in front of me now my friend jojo zahana was doing a video on her new stalogy half year notebook a5 size i thought it was so cool i was considering if i was going to get a new bullet journal for 2021 and i still might i still may end up getting a, a bullet journal because i'm not really sure these are in the bullet journal realm i don't know i'm just here to tell you i know absolutely nothing about them so do not think that this is going to be an educational video because it's not. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. I did get a new set of pins, the Sarasa in the vintage because I really like these colors and I didn't have them. I did a little playing around with this. I'm gonna do a little bit of setting up with you guys and we'll just see how this goes. I've, I got my water, I got a glass of wine because it is afternoon here where I live and I thought it would just be fun to sort of sit here and sip on my wine and be a little bit creative. If you don't know anything about Stalogy or you're curious about it, there's lots of good videos. I've subscribe to let me pull it up on my ipad here a couple of people on youtube i've been watching their videos watch jojo zahana i'll link her video in fact i think she might have just put out okay she did she put out a new so she's got a two-part series setting up her stalogy her a5 she uses it for work it looks like a few hours ago my kids were here so i couldn't watch it she did an a5 stalogy um review and i'm not sure what else but yeah be sure and watch her i'll link her i've also been watching a channel i'll link all these channels that i'm mentioning doxina she's on youtube she's got a great channel i think she might be like the stalogy queen if she's not forgive me if somebody else is i don't know like i said i'm i'm not new to bullet journaling the bullet journaling world is sort of where i got started in my planner um my planner fascination but am new to the stalogy so some of the names I'll, I'll try to maybe just look look them up and link them i don't want to take too much time here there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of knowledge and they've been using these a long time i'm going to use mine sort of more as an artistic journal that's my plan anyway so it's a six month a5 size and it does say here there's four points so it's it's got a day, a week, and a month, and if you open it up, you can see very, 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 very faintly right up in here, it's got the month and the day, and then below it has dates. So I guess the idea is to highlight the month, the day, and the date. Uh, it does have a timeline. It says the pages are numbered from zero to 24 so that you can create a timeline for your schedule. So right here going down, here to here it's numbered 0 to 24 a thin gray grid um, it's got a four millimeter this grid the grid in this notebook has just the right line thickness and darkness for easy neat writing and drawing and then point number four they say the carefully selected notebook paper is thin and light enough to fit half a year of pages but strong enough to prevent the bleed they do come from Japan so let me just take this off I did want to show you I guess it's a big thing in Stalogy to decorate or do something on these two pages. One of the things I've seen some people do is to do a washi cover. So I just did a test one a little bit earlier. This is sticker paper and I this is all washi that was given to me in a giveaway. Um, it's not washi I usually use but it well some of it is I do use. It's the thicker washi that I have so I just went across diagonally on the sticker paper, peeled the backing off, stuck them down and then I had a little gap so I just put some washi here and that was more of a test run for me to see how I was gonna do. Uh, we're going to to decorate this and this. I have another little project I'm probably gonna do. It's nothing fancy. I'm not claiming for this to be an artistic, uh, creative teaching thing by any means. It's just me playing around with this to see what we come up with. So I decided not to do the washi here because I didn't really wanna repeat what I did in the back. And as I said, that's my only thick washi. And what I'm gonna keep this in is probably for now gonna be my traveler's notebook. So 
probably what I'll have in here is my bullet journal and I'll have my Stalogy. So that's probably, I'm gonna finish out this um, bullet journal that I have and then I'll get a new one. But for right now, I'm just gonna use the one that I have and this is the week we're working on here. So I think it's gonna house nicely in here with my bullet journal. So that may change, but I mean with my traveler's notebook. Um, so what I printed out, let's get to what I printed. Printed out two really cool things that I thought would be pretty on the front two covers. I have to cut them out still. I just went to Pinterest and printed, looked up free printables. My ink is getting a little bit light. I need to order more ink and I need to do that today because it's prime day. So after I get done with this video, I'll probably go do that. So I need to cut these down to size. So I thought I'd put the maple leaf on one side and it at all, and all at once, summer collapsed into fall. And that's an Oscar Wilde quote. So this is my practice sheet of just regular printer paper. The notebook itself measures eight, about eight and a quarter by six, eight and a quarter by six. So with my Cricut cutter here, I'm just gonna cut that to that size to start with. Actually, that's, I might save that. That's actually a different one than I wanted to print out anyway. Okay, let me take you along with me on this. I'm going to be printing Life Starts All Over Again when it gets crisp in the air. That was the one I wanted. And the way that I have to do it to work on mine is I open it in Safari, print. I'll use this somewhere else. So I'll hang on to this because it is perfect for fall. We'll get this printed out and we'll be sure to cut it a little bit taller. Okay. Now I think, in my opinion, the width is just fine. The width is perfect on this. So what I want to add is just a little bit more height. Maybe I'm just going to cut the very point on the longer side because I can always go shorter. That's actually pretty good. So I'm going to go just a skosh smaller, just to eight. Oh, you know what? We're gonna end up cutting that off anyway, so that's fine. I liked that this lettering came almost to the edge. Sometimes it's so much fun just to do creative things. And I will be, probably should have mentioned in the very beginning of the video, uh, setting some of this to music. I don't tend to torture you that much. Okay, so that is that one. This one will be easy because we can just take and basically map this out the same. I thought the leaf was pretty since I got this in October. I am gonna set it up for October. Maybe just go back and do some backtracking, but I said it's mostly just gonna be for creative purposes, not so much planning. I've got my planners for that and I don't need to be planning in two or three different places. This will be more of an art-ish journal, junk journal. I gotta find, show you what I found at the grocery outlet yesterday too. It's not very, I'm sure the paper quality is not great at all on it, but I thought it would be good because I really want to practice my hand lettering. I found this neat little journal. Let me reach it. $3.99 and it's called Paperworks. It's got this cute little embossing. I thought it was such a cute little journal. It's got like a little magnetic closure. They had a couple other colors, but I really like the black and I love the little embossing. And other than that, it's just lined paper. It's not very thick paper, but I'll do some pen testing on it. It's not bad, but I thought that would really be nice for hand lettering. What we're going to decide now, I'm going to decide if we want to put around the outside corners, but I'm not going to round the inside corners. What we're doing now is just deciding, do we want to put the leaf there or do we want to put the wording here and the leaf here? I kind of think I want to put this here and the leaf over here. I'm gonna round this corner. Let's start with this guy. He's gonna go here. So I think what I'm gonna do in my brain of thinking, seems like it'll be easier to start it here. Once this sticker paper goes down, it's almost impossible to get back up again. One nice thing though, I did notice 
In the back, I had to pull it up a little bit and reposition and it pulled up pretty good. So that's a good sign. Ooh, you guys, I'm nervous. Let me get a drink of wine. I'm nervous. And on the other one, I came from the outside in. This one, I'm gonna come from the inside. No, I didn't. I printed this on the wrong side. Oh, for crying out loud. That'll be the longest Spalagy setup you've ever sat through. Once again, before we do it, let's just make sure that is where we want that. I think so. I could have done something a little fancier on this page, but honestly, I'm, I didn't even know that I'd get this much ink. So I'm happy that I at least printed that out for me. This is where we left off last time. Hope I do this okay. And I am working against this as well. So I, if I'm off a little bit, guys, I'm sorry. I just have it sort of tucked over here around me so that it doesn't stick up and get in my way. So I'm coming all the way, all the way down into the crease here. And I'm just slowly going to work this paper as I take off the This actually went on easier than the back because it was a bit thicker with the washi tape. So this is actually going pretty darn smooth. Which lends me to believe there's a problem around the corner. No, I'm just kidding. I got Tuesday talks here in a little bit. I am way behind on my filming today. Maybe I get a little bit more done tomorrow. Tomorrow is supposed to be grocery shopping and cleaning day. I'm packing the trailer. Or I could even do a little more filming later this evening. But yeah, I usually do Tuesday talks on Tamika's channel, Pastries, Pumps, and Pie on Tuesday at five. That actually fit pretty darn good. I'm happy with that, you guys. So now we're gonna come in here and do the same thing. So let me just get this separated over here where I can. So I wanna come in. Oh, I gotta do it this way. separate it. Again, we'll just work it slowly. I may end up doing some water coloring on this paper as well, but it won't be in this video. And when I get more ink, I can do better images. It's my, pretty good on my black and white, but it's my color that is almost empty. However, it did okay on the oak leaf. There, I think that turned out pretty darn cute. Not too bad for a first attempt. That is going to be the setup for the front. And then this page, I think I'm just going to glue here so that when we start, we can start right there. I don't know offhand where my tape runner is at, but I could use this double sided tape.
should be all taped together. Probably won't use this much for anything because it's got the tape on the back, so it would be a little bit bumpy. And then eventually we'll come in here and we'll do some, some more decorating. I think I'm gonna do, my planner cart has my washi on it. Pretty to put just a little strip down the center. It'll be just the black and gold. Let's see how that would look. There. I think that turned out pretty darn cute. Life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. Those went down pretty straight, pretty good. We got those glued together. We'll probably skip a page and then we'll start. That's where I thought, last thing I wanted to do with you guys today, at least in this video, hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, Dexina, Dexina. I saw her do this and I thought it was the greatest idea. So, and it would be a simple thing for me to try. I like to kind of clean up as I go here. So I don't have too much sitting out. Um, in between the sheets of vellum that you purchase, there's always this little thin, almost tissue paper, not vellum, um, it's acetate, actually what I bought for another project, but there's always this thin sheet of paper. And she just did sort of some color wash, watercolor on here. And once it dried, she used it for a tip-in. And I thought that's what I would do for my first tip-in. I'm gonna do just a little watercolor wash on here. tip it in once it is dry. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today. Let's see if that's going to stay. We got our leaf in and life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. Maybe we'll do some decorating on that. Maybe we won't. I don't know. And we got that, which was just a sample thing for me to play around with and a little bit of pen testing. So all right, guys, I am going to call it on this one today, and we will have more fun in the Stalogy A5 coming up. Take care. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.